Hello there and welcome to this cute little tutorial about uh, drawing a, a hedgehog. And this young hedgehog is uh, sitting in a little coffee cup. And I'm going to do a very, very quick and um, well simple sketch for this. I'm using the uh, charcoal pencil and the Ami newsprint paper. So it's very cheap, uh, well, just simple and easy. And what I first did is I draw in an ellipse and then a uh, center line so that it's very easy to uh, divide the two halves into equal parts. So I first want to draw this uh, coffee cup or tea cup, whatever you want to see in it. Um, so that I have a place for the little hedgehog to, uh, well, to sit on the page, of course. And I also draw in the ear that is sitting on the, uh, on the little cup. And then I'm starting to draw in some, um, well, some shadow that is casted upon the uh, surface uh, on which the coffee cup is uh, sitting on. And even though this is a very simple sketch, I want to uh, give my sketch as much as a 3D effect as possible. So for the top of the table, I simply draw in a little horizon line. And uh, so I can see what the edge of the table is. And uh, then I also start to put in the shadows that are on the actual cup itself. So the shadow underneath is the casted shadow and uh, the shadow on the cup itself it's, is its own shadow. And uh, shadows uh, is what uh, defines a drawing, making them look as real as possible. Now this is a quick time recorded. I fasted forward this a little bit, but on my Patreon page, of course, you can watch the whole process uh, in real time if you want, for only uh, as little as $5. There are hundreds of this, these kinds of tutorials on my Patreon page, so just check it. Now, once you have your cup standing there on the table and you have put in a little bit of the background, I've also put a little bit of uh, a gray value there too. Then it's time to start drawing the actual hedgehog, the hedgehog itself. And well, the simplest way to draw this these kinds of animals is to uh, tip in the snout first and the, the little mouth underneath the nose and then decide where the eyes are going to be. And the hedgehog has those rounded eyes with a little shine on, uh, on the top of the eyeballs. And also the snout, uh, it's very pointy but the, the, the snout is, is uh, staring directly towards us. So we can only see uh, the front of the snout. And I'm going to replace the right eye a little bit. <clears throat> Just checking out where everything goes. And I want to make sure that I place the shadows on the right places to get the pointiness of the little snout. Now, as you can see, the eyes are actually uh, just next to the tip of the nose. And above the frow line, the hairs on the face are very soft and um, very short. Uh, and then I look at the space which is in between the eyes and the edge of where the, the, uh, the pines begin, the spines of the hedgehog. And in between the spines and the soft hairs of the face, 
there go the ears. So I'm simply pointing out where the spines begin and then I know where to place the tiny ears. And the ears are just, uh, well, they are quite dark. So I simply give those a gray value too. And please remember, if you want to draw this, you can also use graphite pencils, of course. Uh, you are free, or you can draw with your colored pencils. But once I start drawing, I usually start uh, just with a simple charcoal sketch to see if the image is working for me. Well, then I start to look for the outer contour line of where the spines go. So what I get now is an area of spines and the spines of course are hard and they are prickly and they defend the, the hedgehog once it curls up to a ball then the spines all stick out and in that way um, uh, predators uh, will not attack the little hedgehog uh, that fast. So, but they're still so cute. Um, they are hunters, of course, themselves. They eat all kinds of insects and, and uh, worms, and uh, they, they really like that. They are very useful animals, of course. Um, um, but it's also the, the sharpiness and then the softness of the face and then the cute little um, uh, coffee cup in which this young animal is, is sitting. I just love it. I love the composition. Uh, I love the simpleness of it all. And uh, it really speaks to me. It gives me a warm feeling. Now once I have my sketch standing, I take a, a brush and then I push in the charcoal pigments as good as I can into the paper and I pick up my um, pencil eraser and mine is by Koinor and because now I have a very thin layer of charcoal I can simply use the pencil eraser as a drawing device. I, uh, I simply erase out little hairs in the softness of the face and that is the area where the hairs are very tiny but I also pick out some highlights for the spines that are on the body. So using the pencil eraser is a very very nice tool to uh, put in sharpness, but also to put in very soft little hairs that are uh, in the short hairs of the face. But you can also use the pencil eraser for the highlights on the eyeballs, but also, of course, on the cup itself. Now, in this case, uh, the um, the sunlight is coming from the right side, so our light, light source is on the right side. And that um, means that the, the, the whites on the right side are much whiter than on the left side, which is all covered in shadows. So, as you can see, even though this is a very quick and, and simple drawing, uh, by using the shadows on the right places, and here I'm drawing in the whiskers. So by drawing in the, the shadows on the right places, you get an, an actual amazingly um, quite um, realistic effect. So here's my sketch. It's tiny, it's quick, but it's super cute. Hope you will give it a like and subscribe and maybe uh, you would like to see the whole pro process live in a real time recording. Then I can uh, refer to my Patreon page so you can join me there. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.